if you can appreciate your comfort so it sits inside your device easier. Okay, and what works well is that is when you get your when you attach your phone, you glue it in, stick it in a coffee cup, and it will hold your device for you in a few days. Okay, this is just uh, you know the uh, double molding of the cable we set up with uh, anterior the reinforced cable on it. I just want to go over uh, about the setup, okay, because you don't want to have this happen to you. Okay? Uh, we've all had that, you know, in the old days with the early poly pro. Okay. Okay, so this is our finished device for our cable. And it's just a little different. Uh, it's the reinforced and the double mold to get that uh, lateral joint. Okay. Let me scoop this video stuff to your right. Okay, tips. Uh, uh, most important to use your second nine on to evacuate your air. Okay. Uh, ensure your plan for reinforcement. If they're going to get a second hand, they're going to get that. So it doesn't have plastic sticking to you. And with anything, it's going to become easier the more time you do it. Uh, we can do this. Someone in our shop now, they just, they, they throw their plastic in and they just say, I'm doing a Chevy, come and help me. We call it a Chevy reinforcement. Okay. Um, and so we just go there and everybody knows what they're going to do with their plastic. I think everybody gets clustered with, you know, three pieces of plastic. And but once you do a couple hundred of them, you'll get uh, more of them. Okay. Uh, again, Fourth one, the fifth one there, and ensure your glue is applied because you don't want to have your posterior reinforcement sliding off when you pull your uh, second nylon over top. And also very critical is make sure your plastics are at your proper molding temperature. If your plastic is overheated and gets that watery buildup, you'll find that they won't bond to each other. So you have to get to know your oven, to know your plastics, and time them out. Okay, and and lastly, make sure that you overlap your posterior reinforcement and your planner reinforcement and press them very well together to get this thing. Okay, uh, another tip we have, uh, let's see this set up here. You can't see it, but to the left of the two pair of scissors, beside the black foot thing looking, there's a syringe. We use that in case you have any, any air trap between the, uh, our, our coating main section and our planner reinforcement. So you squish it into a large bubble if you can, you stick the syringe in, pull the air out, and your planner reinforcement has no air in it. Okay. Uh, another thing, station time is, like I said, make sure your um, nylon, your second nylon is on your cast before you start. You don't want to have to try to pull it over and, and catch it and tear it or not. It's just easier to have it on the cast. And as soon as your molding is done, highlight your uh, trim lines with the wax marker so you can see them when you cut, cut them off. 